Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with Brandon Allinger from Prop Store. Hello, Hello. sir. Uh, Prop Store obviously auctions off movie props and part of film history. Um, and we have a long-term friendship where occasionally they bring these pieces for me to see up close and we can shoot videos about them. And today, well, so first of all, you have a big auction coming up. We do, yeah, November 9th, 10th, and 11th. We've got our big EMLA auction in London. Uh, 1,100 lots, all kinds of movies. Stuff you've been saving up all year for. Yeah, I mean, w this is what we do is go out and hunt this stuff down. We look for it everywhere we can find it. And occasionally come, we come up with really great pieces like this one. So this is from National Treasure Book of Secrets, and it is the literal Book of Secrets. Which is cool. Anytime that your prop is in the title of the film, you know you've got something special. And this yeah. comes from the prop maker? Yeah, this one uh, originated with one of the prop makers, includes a letter of authenticity from one of the prop makers for, for the film, and it's an original. Should we open it up? I take, can't. Take I look? can't wait. Uh, one of the uh, uh, one of the people that worked for that prop maker showed up in a thread about this on the replica prop forum and talked about the process of calligraphic, doing old style stuff and the the different sort of textures. Oh, well, that that's they, cool. I mean, um, first of all, just the case is beautiful. Yeah, right? the this weathering on this leather is amazing. Leather. And you know, when I look at this, my mind immediately jumps to the Indiana Jones Grail Diary, yep. which I think those National Treasure movies definitely owe Indiana Jones a thing or two to begin with. A hundred percent. And then, you know, to go with oh a, a book like this, and let's see if we can just open it up. Oh, man. Can I? Uh, yeah, yeah, you so want to have, hold have this, a browse? Hold this cover. I, oh my gosh. Whole maps, the it's, page is all, yeah, so there's some, ah, oh, right. So these are pre-printed yep. and then post-weathered. Love the aging on it. Yeah, so it looks like they might've even grabbed some um, some graphic elements from old books of just like ledgers, mm -hmm. yep. right? And maps and things. And letters, this is, oh wow. This definitely feels like holding a replica of the Grail Diary. That's what I was thinking with all the inserts. Oh and, yeah, yeah uh, envelopes. There's and... some inspiration there. But it, you know, it's, I think the idea of the book is that it contains a lot of the secrets of the US. So things like the Kennedy assassination. Oh, right. For instance, yeah. here's Roswell. the alien yes. from Roswell, yeah. New Mexico. <laughs> so someone had a lot of fun with this. this oh, is naval telegram. Have good fun with. Oh man. So I love thinking about the prop maker making this piece and how much is, oh wow. That's the plank, right? Which is another right, key right. MacGuffin in the film. And then there's newspaper clippings and oh, look at this. It's the blueprint for the flying saucer. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I mean, I just imagine that it would be really, like even if you're an old jaded prop maker, that making a prop like this is still gotta light your, light your flame a little bit. Absolutely, and also as a fan or a collector, when you get to see one of these in person, I'll never forget the first time I got to see a Grail Diary. Uh, Robert Watts, one of the producers on Indiana Jones, had an original Grail Diary, and I just sat down in a chair and looked at it for 45 minutes, because there's so much to drink in. You know, in a book like yeah. this, there's so many details, all these Easter eggs that are hidden here, all these things that kind of play into the story, but yeah. they're not gonna feature directly, so they ju you know, they can be loose with it, uh -huh. while also while having some fun and, and just making a great prop that's gonna perform well on screen and look very impressive on screen. Uh, what I'm marveling at here is a copy of Marilyn Monroe's autopsy <laughs> as, as one of the great secrets. A oh, letter Woodrow from Wilson. Woodrow Wilson. Yeah. Wow. Oh, this is just Capone. Yeah, this is the first time I've looked at this in person, but it's oh, filled with great little... Wonderful little tidbits and... Oh, 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 another piece from Roswell. Yeah, I'm sure somewhere in here is... Oh, moon landing stuff? Yeah, there's moon landing. Yeah, yeah. fake moon landing. There's got to be Kennedy in here somewhere, I would think. Oh, this is funny. They've just replicated, they've just added in a piece of one of the flight plans from NASA. I've got copies of these. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Because NASA, it's all available on, on government websites, actually. Oh, is that right? Yeah, a good portion of Just it. download and print it. Original. Oh, my gosh. So this is them on the set. <laughs> this is them on the set. Yeah, this is great. That's clever. I wonder yeah. if this is from Capricorn One. That's funny. That is awesome. Stanley Kubrick in the background. Right, exactly. <laughs> Um, the weathering is really gentle and sensitive, yeah. you know, like little bits on the edges here, but not, it's not overdone. It looks like the pages are all printed, which mm -hmm. makes sense given the volume, but there's, there you go. There's, there's Kenny. Oh, right? wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's see, there's, another, there's a wide shot of the Kennedy car. Yeah. And, and what is the document? Yeah, what is see that? If it, uh, I don't want to unstick it if it's stuck. Oh, but, it's the route. The, oh, the yeah. president, do not file. Right, the this, parade this, route. This, do not file. Oh man. 
I, so, uh, uh, we'll talk about this someday, but I replicated uh, with some great help uh, Kurtz's dossier from Apocalypse Now. Oh, I didn't and know it that. is a similar, like, like the Grail Diary, this crazy deep dive yeah. into such uh, uh, extensive and wide ranging ephemera. Do we get to see that while in the film? In fact, not only do we get to see it, but it turns out that every beat in the film is presaged by going through the dossier. Oh. That the oh, dossier really? is, in fact, the narrative backbone of the film. And hmm. it's un it basically, his journey through the dossier is his journey through the film. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, Victoria, by the, going from Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria, yeah. Um, what is that? Oh, man. I mean, there's so many wonderful little... Yeah, I mean, you could spend a lot of time just paging through this, and it smells great. It, it actually does. smells a little like an old musty book. George Washington's signature. On this day in April 1792, it is with great honor that I take, I pen, take pen, in, pen hand. in hand to make the first of what will be many entries to be read by future presidents. That's cool. That's a cool. Opening. That is pretty yeah. freaking cool. I don't know if you see that in the film or don't. We yeah. have to go look now. Uh, and I just love all these like map pieces. And I, I, it looks like they made more than one. Yeah, I mean, I, I would have thought with a prop like this, there had to be a few, you know, as, yeah. as you well know, modern right. productions always have multiples. There's always multiple units. You always need backups. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, you'll have a hero version that's that's more intended for close-up. This is certainly hero quality. I mean, yeah. everything about that feels like it's ready to go on camera. Again, I love the leather casing and so just much. the uh, the age of it. Um, I, year, many years ago, I bought from you guys the folder from Red. Oh, okay. But... It's not a hero one because there's nothing in it. Okay. It's all like blank pages and like uh, uh, accounting. Oh, that's cool. Accounting I don't pages. even remember that. That must have gone through London. It must have been. I something. think it did. I didn't yeah. Have to do it. It's that's, a long, long cool time though. ago. But yeah. I love the piece. Again, yeah. I'm a. I have a weird side passion for paper ephemera. Mm -hmm. I even have some pieces. I have some great replicas of Leonardo's mm -hmm. codices and. Uh, this do you is have just one of wonderful. These? Have you done one? No, I have one? not. I have not. And I, I, I'm very, like, I'm very familiar with this piece because I've looked into it because I, the thing that's great about paper props like this is you can do a lot of the work just sitting there in Photoshop, mm -hmm. right? And so that's like perfect for me when I'm flying a lot. I just mm -hmm. sit there on Photoshop working through documents or something like this. Mm -hmm. Now that I've seen this up close, I may tackle it. Tempted, yeah. You guys just sold uh, a bunch of scans of the one of the original Grail Diaries. Yeah, with loose pages. Loose pages, pages. Yes. Right. yeah. Because we yeah we took a look at those last time you were down. Those were really cool too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there was a couple I had never seen. Yeah. And, and again, it's like the fun of what's gone into these things, where have they taken their source material? That one I know has been studied for many years. I don't know if people have done quite the same deep dive on this as to identifying all the source materials. Yeah, I'll bet um, not. But, uh, but you know, there's, there's a lot that goes into it. And again, it's sort of all about celebrating the movie artistry and what goes into, especially something like this that becomes a title prop of the film. Well, and uh, except for the fact that you can kind of tell some of the stuff has been copied onto the page rather than written directly on it, except for that, this thing sells as real right here. Mm -hmm. Like there's some tells we can see, but for the most part, anybody who found this would consider this to be a real object. There's no, there's no, it doesn't, it feels completely genuine. Yes, yeah. And that's just, that, that, that yeah. to me is always really thrilling. Right. Yeah. Maybe if it was 200 years old, the leather would be a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. I actually, crispy, but. I actually just bought this stuff for restoring, oh yeah, it's in my leather chemicals uh, box for restoring old leather. Like, oh, really? For leather that's like starting to just turn to dust. Okay. Uh, I don't think it restores it, but it stops it from continuing to turn into oh, that's dust. Interesting. So I think you're right. Yeah, this would be this would be like shedding powder all over right. us if yeah, it was genuinely 200 nice years old. Nice that it isn't, but, but it has a great patina to it. The oh, paper it really there. does. And I love how it's got, and it, this leather has a leather lining as well. Uh -huh. And the lining is like clearly hand cut and that's all part of the narrative. Right, of, of looking the age that it does. Oh. Yeah. This is, you sent me a list of some things to like that you might bring by and this was definitely something I was really surprised yeah. that I was going to get to see in person. I was a little bit surprised you picked this actually because yeah. it's a slightly more modern film. Normally mm -hmm. you gear towards 70s, 80s, things like that. 
But um, but now that I know about the paper fascination, now yeah. I understand this a little bit more. Well, and interestingly enough, it's I'm not that interested in the National Treasure movies, mm -hmm. but I really love a prop that is right. the deeply narrative in and of itself. Yeah, and sometimes the prop is better than the film. <laughs> sometimes yeah. I have that's several not, of those. That's not even a shot of the film. I'm just saying <laughs> yeah, yeah. sometimes the props are better than the films. Yeah. And, or maybe another way of saying it is there are a lot of great film props for films that never found a big audience. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and you know, that just goes to show that like, with auctions like this, you guys can highlight the work of so many people more than just the directors and the lead, mm -hmm. you know, above the line actors in a film. Yeah, I mean a huge amount of creativity that goes into every detail of making a movie, right? Mm. Yeah. So, oh, dude, thank you so much. It's a good much. one. Yep. This is Go incredible. Going up for auction on the 9th, 10th, and 11th. Amazing. Brandon, thanks so much for coming yeah. by. Yeah, good to see you. All right, see you guys next time.